just doing another practice scene for the upcoming corset vest video. I'm going to use some leopard print today. Might be cheetah print, sorry about that. This is a three and a quarter inch wide piece of contrast fabric folded in half. I'm going to use a 5 8 inch seam allowance. So that's going to leave me a half inch here and a half inch here. No, an inch. It'll leave me an inch here. So when I push it down, it'll be a one inch band on the front. Because it's 5 8 inch seam, one inch is an inch and an eighth times two. No. 5 8 plus 5 8 is an inch and a quarter, and then an inch and inch is two inches, so it's three inches and a quarter. Line up my bra edges here. And I'm going to be doing a 5 8 inch seam. Line up my fabrics a little bit. They slipped just a little bit. The leopard print is a shiny polyester, some kind of synthetic. It's very slippery, so I'm. S I'm trying to hold the, the layers together a little bit so they don't slip. That's the construction seam. Then you go to the front of the garment. You need to first press open these seams in the back here. And go to the front of the garment. First, press the seam one way, like that. Press it the other way. And then you take your contrast fabric, you split it up, you open it up, and press it down. Then you use the center crease line that you did when you folded it over to line it on top of the construction seam. Give it a good press. Now put an edge stitch foot on your machine. <clears throat> I go to the needle, put it on the needle center position, and then I move it two millimeters to the left. Now 
Now you top stitch this down. When you use an edge stitch foot, you have to make sure you get your fabric right up to the edge. Then flip it around and do the other edge. And this is, like I said, a practice for a corset bedding vest I'm going to be doing a sew along in a couple of months. So this is going to be a double bone seam. So I need to put a line down the center and I'm just going to use the crease that I have here as my guide. I'm going to switch over to a regular foot for this because I'm going to be in the middle of the fabric, not on an edge. Then I'm going to reset my machine to be a center stitch. Going to line up to right, so right directly on the crease. And there I have the space for a double bone, boning for my corset vest. I'm just going to press this to set the stitches. Got to be careful, this is a synthetic, the print, the Leopard print is a synthetic. I don't have any boning on hand yet, and I don't know the exact size of it. So what I'm going to use in place to make it look like I have boning in there is just some cording. I took the center cord out to make it a little flatter. Just going to fish this through here. I've never made a corset before, and I could look up how to do it, but I want to do one with my own style, so I'm not even going to look up how to make one, I'm just going to wing it.
because I tend to like to make stuff totally my own style and aesthetics. And I'm going to just give this a little steam to even out all the pushing and pulling I did. In there, that would be like a double boned, boned boning on a corset vest. And of course, with animal print. When I make the corset vest, I'm probably going to be using a stretch fabric, not a woven, simply because I don't have the same silhouette as the model. And I don't need it to be body shaping, just a little bit more flattering to my silhouette. 